Hello. So I've actually never played classical tenor saxophone. In undergrad, they had me playing soprano, alto, and at one point, Barry. But I never got to the classical tenor saxophone. That video I did with Ryan Devlin, that was actually my first time ever playing classical tenor. And he had just gave me a random C star he had in his case. And a Van Dorn traditional blue box read. But this year, I do plan on releasing some classical saxophone arrangements. So I really need to learn some classical tenor. Luckily, I know just the guy. You might remember him from one of my previous videos. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Swinging. Oh my god. <laughs> Not swinging. He's a classical tenor saxophone major at the UNCG School of Music. So let's go ahead. So let's go ahead and go to his house. Let me grab this iPad, this camera, and this tenor saxophone. And this dog. Hey. Whoa, whoa. Mingus. How dare you? Eh, well, no going back. Also, I just got this new watch. I really like it. Alright, let's get going. Alright, I have arrived. Hey guys! Hey, long time no see. I get memes for saying swinging a lot. Thanks guys, <laughs> appreciate that. Anyway, let's move on. Yeah, it's my new tenor. I upgraded. Oh yeah, what did you have before? I had the um, Eastman 52nd Street right here. Oh, for classical. And now you have... I have the custom EX Yamaha. Holy Yamaha crap. That looks freaking awesome. Yes, it's oh, so it's, good. Oh my god, it's brand new. Yeah. Dude, that looks amazing. I know, right? Do you like it more? Oh, I, I love it. I never thought it'd make a difference. I thought like, you know, if you're a good enough player, you could sound good, you know? Uh -huh. But when I got this, I was like, nah, this, this, this is a different world of playing. It's, Dang, it's different It's different. But yeah, I love it. Ooh, man, that sounds great. Thank you, thank you. Your freaking sound. Oh, it's, nah, it's, nah, sounds nah, like... It's just going over. I think it's like... Yeah, it sounds like deer, mid saxophone deer. <laughs> deer. Dude, it sounds like golden butter chocolate. Like I want to put my hand in it and just feel the. the... You want to play it? Uh, I could try. I got the booster shot, so that should be good. These would be yours right here. Oh, thank you. Borrow for today. Ooh, yes, sir. I bought a mouthpiece from you, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was my um, my Darren T20. It was what I had for like all four years of high school. I upgraded to some concept. They're both pretty solid choices. I think the general consensus was that most people like the T20 more, actually. But whatever. It, it is not that big of a deal. It's like such a slight change. I know there's the uh, Van Doren TO3, TO4. Oh yeah. That one's good. My professor used that one. Oh it really? It's beautiful. Have awesome. you tried it? Have I tried it? No, I haven't tried it. Huh. But that's just because, like, he has a sign on his door. It's like, Batman slapping Robin me, where it's like, I need a new mouthpiece. It's like, long tone. So that's why I don't try to uh, switch mouthpieces. I don't want to uh, be like, can I try it? He's like, why do you want to do it? You know? I, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't ask questions. I'm like, nervous about it. I like those over there, the little statue guys. Oh, yeah, the saxophones. There's the saxophone statues. Where I feel like it. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, now oh. I feel like I'm even height. How does lightning look? Good enough. I want you to try my tenor, too. Ooh, oh yeah, because you had yours from, uh, what, Ben Keeson? Ken Beeson? <laughs> Ken Beeson, yep. <laughs> Forget his name. I'm just ben look right here. So, I, I know there's like the uh, traditional blue box, like dark blue, and then these like the light blue boxes. These are the V21s. Um, I personally like using the V21s more than the blue box. Hmm. I hate to do the blue boxes, but I feel like, for me, I've gotten a lot more success like right off the box with the V21s. And they don't like die out early either, uh, my opinion, but... Um, I like dying. <laughs> so, I'm curious what you think of my Ben Keeson tenor. Oh, I'd love to try it out. I don't think it's meant for classical at all. Who knows? I'm sure anything will sound good with the right mouthpiece set up. Actually, the player has the least impact on our sound. Really? Oh, I was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh wow, what is this, some like, really like philosophy? Sorry. <laughs> Open it for the viewers here. Ah. Uh, mm. Oh, you have like the like the the keys. Oh yeah, yeah. the key card. Check what out. Sure, sure. Oh, thank you. Ooh, thank you. I miss I missed like the the lacquered look or like the unlacquered look. I don't know how to get rid of these. Oh okay. <laughs> yeah, push it from behind. Oh okay okay. Boom. Interesting. Interesting. Definitely feels different from my Yamaha. Oh yeah. This this B flat key feels like it's way out. Like I feel like I'm like mega stretching my feet trying to get this low B flat. Right here, and it feels super. Um, I don't say flimsy, but I don't mean it in a bad way because I, I don't want to. How could like... you? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it's, it's I'm, like... joking, I'm joking. Right, right. It's, it's less tight. It's less tight, yeah. I feel like there's not like much resistance to it, but it does feel like clear cut what it wants. Yeah, yeah. This high F sharp's pretty small. Yeah, it feels nice though. Can I feel your Yamaha? Can I put it in my hands? Oh, yeah, go for it. Of course. Oh, man, it's so shiny. Yeah, no, go for it. Go for it. 
I trust you. No, don't worry. I trust you. Oh, thank you. Trust me. Oh, wow. Now, what are your thoughts on, on the Yamaha? I definitely see what you mean with... Oh, there's nothing like a brand new Yamaha. <laughs> wow. This feels awesome. When did I get it? I got it November 1st. Oh, man. It feels even... Oh. 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 <laughs> Dude, this is a... The key action is crazy. Right? The buttons are just right there. Yeah, they feel so much closer. They do. Alright, I'm very curious what you think of this. <laughs> I just I'm sure the tuning tendencies are way different. I mean, you could try to move around the mouthpiece. Um, just, I don't think. Oh, I just feel like it. I'm not getting like the correct, you know, the interval. Oh, I feel bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I can feel yes, it. Yes, <laughs> that he wasn't, he wasn't. Ooh, the OB5 comes out clean though. Uh, so that's one thing I do miss about my old tenor than the one with my Yamaha. I don't know, it just. B5 definitely comes out way smoother. Michael Brecker would often play crazy lines. Just. Blasting on a low B flat, like, mm. oh, no. so oh maybe, yeah, maybe I, I can see that. I can see that. Maybe that's why. I'm not really into the, into the jazz <laughs> stuff, so if this is like all like new stuff. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm learning. I'm learning here. <laughs> The closest to jazz I'll ever get in my life. <laughs> Just dominant sevens. Whoa. Are you swinging. <laughs> <laughs> I really like this rubber, rubber. Oh yes. I love that. I'm not sure if it's coming out. I took it off recently and it's completely green. <laughs> Why can I look? Yeah. Oh! Mmm, delicious. Mid practice session lunch right there. For my neck is doing that thing. If you like press uh, Octave G to A. Oh, it's like slow. Yeah. Okay, I remember Ken Beeston taught me how to fix this. I just put some cork grease on here. Put it in here. Yes, sir. Alright, I hope that's enough. Hey, it's enough. That's good. Ah. All right, so I'm ready to go ahead and give this a shot. What what mouthpiece did you give me here? I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. It came it came like stock with the <laughs> with the with my Yamaha. Yes, sir. I mean, it kind of looks like a four C. It, it looks nice. Look at that. And then you gave me these reeds you're talking about. Right yes, there. the V twenty one. Yes. Mm. Mm. I love the, the taste of new reeds. I actually suck them in water. Fair enough. I'm still an old school sucker. Have you tried the flavored reeds? I have not tried the flavored reeds. After I made that video, they took the website down. So what note should I tune to? Oh, so on a mouthpiece, you else? should do a, a G4. How's that one? Pretty good! Let's do it the second one. That one. How's my my mouthpiece tone? <laughs> <laughs> Is that comfortable? No. <laughs> oh, you, you do it. Too. I I do it like I play it like you know on my okay. side. I'm too small. I've been doing it in the front for so long. I'm an alto man. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I'm just trying to get the warm air in. That know? was terrifying. <laughs> so when you think the F sharp, it should be like slightly sharp. <laughs> And then the next two notes that I would tune is B with the octave key and then B without the octave key. So this note, right? That was obviously not tuned. So the one, the middle B, that one actually comes out flat. So if you play B in tune, 
Yeah. You're out of tune. Ah, right. so yeah. then you're sharp. And then so, the way you want to always make sure it's in tune, if you're like sustaining it, you want to hold down the low B flat key. This low B flat key, right? Oh, oh it's going to make it... You're just gonna sharpen that? Yeah, so oh, I'll, I'll, I'll play. Sharp man. I'll play B normal and then I'll add things, so. And then that's what it's God. <laughs> and then for the high B, that one is a little sharp. Okay, so I'm playing like on tune, like, but it's really cold in my room, so that's one thing. My friends told me, like, at a certain point when you play a specific note long enough, you would just get that note in tune, just because, like, what you do inside here. Mm. But I guess for people who don't normally play classical tenor, take those notes. Who is your professor? Though? My professor is a Dr. Stusik. Oh, yeah, he's yeah. amazing. Yeah, from uh, UNC Greensboro. <laughs> So this right in there, that means I am flat, right? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. Can I try it again? Oh, yeah, go for it. All right. I think it sounded great. I heard do 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 da, and that sounded great. When you get lower, you're gonna have to pull like, and then oh. to get like it like so blow even faster. Yeah, you blow even faster. Oh, so when, even when you start on a low note, instead of like blowing like your typical airspeed, you want to try to blow like faster. <laughs> I think this reed is very thin than what I'm used to. Oh, really? really mm -hmm. Interesting. I think I'm probably just bad. I mean, I'm just used to just. <gasps> it's probably why I have a throat problem. I think you sound pretty good, and then you know when the water just becomes it's like you have some troubles, but it's like mm -hmm. it's like what? I'm like who cares? Kind of not like like not something like a little bit of practice you can't fix. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. So can I can I redeem myself? Can I try to redeem myself? Go for it. Of course. Dude, thank you, man. Of course. <laughs> Did you love it? Did you love it? I loved it. Oh, I absolutely so. live for it. So, um, what's in the thing? <laughs> oh, wait, do you want to play my horn? Oh, yes, I do. I want mean, to I'm going to get to that part. Dude, this is going to be life changing. Uh, seem to just use this. Oh, yeah. It's so hard. When I play it, it's kind of flat. 
And so I, I try to make it in tune by pressing the, the B flat key, okay. the side B flat key, and it raises the pitch. so much for the insight. I feel like I have a good footing of what I need to do. Of course, just let me know if you need anything else. Let a brother know. Dude, I'll let you know. I'm sure this mouthpiece is probably not the best either. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, I'll keep this read, try it on that mouthpiece. For sure. And I'll tell you if I'm a V21 convert. I gotta expand more on the, on the, on the blue boxes though, for sure. I don't wanna mm -hmm. spread out propaganda. Up there, you know, <laughs> false information. I definitely have to try it. All right, well, thank you, David, and thank you all for 152,000 subscribers. Oh my god, have a good day. <laughs>